We just launched voice on voice flow into early access. Woo! <laughs> voice lets you call your workflows using a phone number, making it ideal for appointment scheduling, lead capture, and customer support. And the best bit is every single project you build on VoiceFlow automatically supports voice. Enabling it takes just a couple of minutes. Let me show you how. From your VoiceFlow workspace, choose the project you want to connect to a phone number. Then choose integration from the sidebar and select telephony. Finally, click import new number. Now you can import numbers from Twilio. If you don't already have a Twilio account, you can go and set up a free trial to follow along with this tutorial. Just go to twilio.com. If you've already got a Twilio account, you can connect your existing phone number just fine. Head over to console.twilio.com. So now we're in Twilio's console, let's get the credentials that VoiceFlow needs. Now we don't have a phone number yet, so I'm gonna choose the phone numbers option on the sidebar. If you don't see this, click explore products and you can make it show up that way. Then I'll choose manage and buy a number. Now, VoiceFlow, we're here in Canada, and you can choose a phone number from pretty much anywhere in the world, but I'm feeling pretty Nova Scotian today, so we'll choose Canada, and Nova Scotia begins with 902, so let's choose that area code. And then finally, it's as easy as saying, I wanna buy this number. Now, at the bottom, we can click buy, and it's only gonna cost us a dollar fifteen monthly fee, which is pretty cool. So we'll then configure this number. And all we need to do, don't just set any of this up from inside Twilio, we just need to copy paste this number at the top and then from voice flow, paste it in at the top. If you are dealing with non-North American numbers, be careful and just make sure your area code is set correctly too. Then we need to get our Twilio account SID and auth token. We can get these both from the dashboard as well. So just head over to your account dashboard, scroll down and you can copy paste them here. We can also name our phone numbers to keep them organized. In this example, I'll just call it my friend because it is my friend. And then we can hit import. There's one last step we need to do as well. And that is connecting our phone number to a certain environment. It means you don't need to test things in production. But we're gonna go test it in production anyway because it's more fun. So then we'll hit assign. And, and that's it. So finally, cause we're in production mode, let's just go to our workflow and publish the workflow so that it's gonna work. And now, believe it or not, it is now time to call our agent. Hi, I love you. I love you too, VoiceFlow. Oh, uh, thanks. Wow, that was the easiest friend I've ever made, even if it did just hang up on me. Since Voice supports all the power of any other VoiceFlow project, you can build some really cool workflows. While trying out this feature, we built a voicemail inbox that sends some messages to Slack that it collects, and also an appointment scheduling system that connects to cal.com. I'd love to hear what you're planning on building with voice, so let us know in the comments down below. Voice is super powerful, but it comes with some new best practices that we recommend following. Click right here to learn some of them.